Hello everyone, welcome to in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to see another type of problem on making equation exact. So the question is solve this that is we need to find the solution of this equation. As you can see this equation is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So if we compare these two equations, we will get m as this value which is y log of y and we get n as this value which is x minus log y. So after this we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y and we will find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Here x will be constant and here y is constant. So here x is constant so derivative of y into log y. So what is derivative of log into y? So this is nothing but u into v rule. What is u into v rule? We know that u into v rule is nothing but derivative of u v remain as it is plus derivative of v u remain as it is so here u is y and v is log y what is derivative of y is 1 and v remain as it is plus derivative of v what is derivative of log y derivative of log y is 1 upon y and u remain as it is so this y and this y will get cancelled we'll get this as log y plus 1 Similarly, we will apply the partial derivative here y is constant. So this term will be 0 and the derivative of x is 1. So from these two equations, the partial derivatives are not equal. So the given differential equation is not exact differential equation. So after this, we will check whether our equation is of the type 2a, 2b or 2c. So this cannot be represented in type 2a. No, it is not a function of f of x comma y. It cannot be also a homogeneous equation so we will consider type 2c if you closely observe this equation here in this partial derivative we only have y terms so this is of the type 2c and of the second type in which we will subtract partial derivative of n with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to y and we divide by n so in our previous video we used to find the partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x divided by n but in this case in this the derivative terms has only log y so we will do this type because it should be a function of f of y so if we subtract this 1 minus log y plus 1 upon m m is nothing but y log y if i take this negative sign inside it will be 1 minus log y minus 1 upon y log y so this 1 plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled and this log y and log y will get cancelled and we will get minus 1 upon y so this is nothing but function of y that's why we have taken this subtraction so some student might think when to take this type of subtraction and when to take this type of subtraction so if your derivative term has only y, so in this you can see there is only y terms, so you will subtract n and m. When your derivative terms have both mixture of x and y or only x, then we will take this. So remember this. So this is very a trial and error method you have to do, like this is just a subtraction. So as you can see, this is a function of f of y, then the integrating factor is nothing but e raised to integration of f of y dy what is f of y from our previous slide f of y is minus 1 upon y it is minus 1 upon y so if we are going to integrate this so e raised to integration of minus 1 upon y into dy so this is nothing but e raised to minus integration of 1 upon y is log y this minus sign will go in the power of y by using a log rules so it will be e raised to log of y raised to minus 1 so if we use log and exponential rule we will get this as y raised to minus 1 which is equal to 1 upon y so this is our integrating factor so after finding integrating factor we multiply this integrating factor with the given equation so our given equation is 